Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and we're going to take a look at Eero. This is a home Wi-Fi system and it's been out for a while, but now that Apple is supposedly no longer making Wi-Fi routers, I thought it was time to look somewhere else. Now I actually have a background with networking and networking operations and I actually prefer simplicity over configuring it myself. Now I'm fully capable to do that, but I prefer to actually have something very simple that's managed through an app and I don't have to think about it. And right now I thought we'd run a speed test and then we'll open this up, see how it works and go from there. So I've got speed test up now. Right now I currently have a two to 3000 square foot house and we'll go ahead and hit begin test and I have one Wi-Fi router in that house. The idea is you have one of these for about every thousand square feet or so. Now my current speed wired is 300 by 20. So, so I should be able to get that in theory. Normally I can get 20 upload speed, at least this way. Right now it's, it's going a little bit slower than I'd like, but you'll see 166 by five to six or so, but it can hit 20. That's what my actual speed is rated for. So we'll get rid of the ads here. So that's pretty much it. 166 by 573. Let me show you the airport. So this is my time capsule connected to my internet and that's all we have in the house. Now I have used their connectivity before with their airport express and things, but this is supposed to be much better. You can either wire it or not wire it and it's a mesh network. Now you can buy these in one, two or three packs. Right now they're 199, 299 and 399. And depending on how many you want, you can continue to get more depending on how large your, your home is or area you're putting these in. Let's open this up here. So you'll see there's three of them. This one says start. It says first things first, download the app. You'll need to set up your Eero Wi-Fi system. Okay, so we'll do that. Looks like we've got a wall plug here, AC adapter. We've got a really nice ethernet cable. It's pretty high quality, really nice. And then we have another one and another one. So this you'll see has three ports on the back, one for the AC adapter. We've got one for ethernet in and one back out if you want it, and then USB. I believe this is only a service port though, so you can't go and connect hard drives to it. Now I could be wrong, that may change in the future, but right now you can't. The bottom has rubberized feet on it, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go plug this in and get this set where I want it, and then we'll go from there. I'll leave these two unplugged for now. We'll see what kind of connectivity we get and how the setup process goes. I hooked everything up to my modem and now what I need to do is set it up. So it's hooked up to my modem. I actually have it connected to some other things as well. So let's set it up. We'll open the app and set up Eero. So the first thing I need to do is fill out all this information. So I'll do that and I'll be back in a moment. What I had to do is actually log in, use an email and also my phone number. It sent me a verification code and then we're at this point. So it says you'll need to get started, unplug the modem and an existing router connect the Eero modem, plug in Eero and modem, and we're kind of at that point already, so we'll see what it does. It says we found your Eero, and pick any room where it's located. It's located in my living room. Okay, that was pretty easy. We'll hit next name your network. I put in a network name and a password and it says creating your network. Okay, that was pretty easy. Add another Eero. I think I'm going to add this and I'll be right back. I've got Eero completely set up throughout the house. I did an update and I have to check some cabling as my living room one keeps dropping, which is the main one. Uh, these are not accurate speeds. I'm able to get 300 down on my Mac and 20 up which is what I normally get. So these aren't my normal speeds. It's usually a little bit faster. This has some great features in it. You can change networks. You can change your network account name. You can create family profiles and turn off devices based on Mac addresses or what they are. Hey, you've got network settings. You've got your account and my network. 
So it's pretty neat. I'll use it for a few days and see how it is. And you'll see it pretty instantly, but it'll be a few days for me. It's been a few days since I've been using Eero, and I have to say I'm really impressed. It does really well around my house. I've got three of them set up. They're blanketing my house, and it works really well. Let's take a look at the speed test here and see what we get. Now, if I connect back to my own provider, I can get up to 300. Just depends what you're actually connecting to. So if I'm connecting to someone, I'm on the east coast of the United States. If I'm connecting to the west coast, for example, the speeds can vary. So it just depends what you're connecting to to test this. But it's pretty good overall throughout the house. You'll see this will go pretty high up, close to, well, almost close to 200. And the upload speed is very good as well. So that's pretty good. I have to say I'm impressed as far as that goes. So I'll just close out of that. And let's go into the Eero app. So that's nice in the sense that I can get those speeds anywhere in my house and even outside my house now that I have three of these mesh network routers connected and managing my network. You'll see in the app they're constantly checking the actual speed test and this might be back to them and because of the internet and latency across that you may experience a less than what your provider actually suggests but that you might be getting but that's pretty good overall. You'll see I have my three Eero connected here. I can buy more and add more throughout a house. If I buy a bigger house or I get a smaller house, I can just subtract or add to these as much as I'd like. You'll also see I have 17 devices currently connected. And the nice thing about this, if I go in here and then we'll go to my iPad and you'll see which network it's connected to. It's using five gigahertz wireless. It does have 2.5 as well. And it's, it's really nice. It gives me my IP address. It gives me which Eero it's connected to. And then I can assign a profile to it as well. And those profiles I've created one for my kids. I can pause the internet using this profile. So if I want to pause it or add this, let me go back. And if I go to here, you'll see I have family profiles and I have a kid's profile. And under that, I only have one device right now. But what I can do is schedule a time when this is actually working and I want it to actually be used. So if I don't want this to be used throughout, say, after 9 p.m., I can tell it I don't want the Internet on for these devices after 9 p.m. If I'm home and I don't want them using it, I just hit pause and it pauses the internet on those specific devices. I can add or take them off as I want. So it's really nice, you've got those options. You've also got some options for a guest network. I don't have it set up, but I can set up a separate guest network with its own password and then share that network. So when guests come over, they can't access my devices, but they can have internet access. I've also got network settings. So if I wanna go in here and go into advanced settings, under advanced settings, I can set up all sorts of things such as port forwarding, reservations, universal plug and play, and all sorts of things. If I wanna change my DNS or DHCP and NAT, all of that stuff is available. If you wanna tweak any of that, you can. Otherwise, it does it all by itself. So that's really nice. I'm very impressed by Eero. These are really nice routers and my house doesn't have any dead spots anymore. Everything's fast no matter where I walk in the house and they just jump from router to router to router. So it's really nice. I definitely advise checking them out. I'll leave a link in the description below and there's also a link for a coupon so you can get a little bit of a discount on their routers as well if you order from them. So I'll leave that in the description below as well. Be sure to check them out if you haven't heard of them. They're really great. They work well and I'm pretty impressed. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.